CNN's Jim Acosta accused of spreading fake news on Trump's hospital visit with Congressman Scalise. Hello everyone, Jen here, Golden State Times, and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy of Breitbart.com, and it says that CNN senior White House correspondent Jim Acosta tweeted a false report that said President Donald Trump did not visit with House Majority Whip Steve Scalise in the hospital after the shooting, fueling fake news allegations. It says, after reports confirmed the news that President Trump had visited Scalise at MedStar Washington Hospital Center on Wednesday evening, Acosta tweeted the exact opposite per a White House official. All right, so it says, White House official on hospital visit, President Trump did not meet with Scalise and did not go into the room where Scalise is being treated. That's what Acosta said on Twitter. All right. And he said White House official. Again, unnamed sources. And, you know, that's that, that's all these people go by, you know, these so-called unnamed sources. All right. Bunch of fake news, folks. Later on, he, quote unquote, corrected that tweet because he erased it. And the new tweet states, a new pool report says POTUS did visit Scalise at the hospital. All right. So President Donald Trump did visit Scalise. First, he visited the, one of the, the officers that was wounded, right? One of the heroes. He you know, went over there, talked to his wife, you know, made sure with his doctors that he was in good condition and he was going to make a speedy recovery. And then after that, he went to talk to Scalise's wife where he would, you know, where uh, Flotis gave her, you know, a, a bouquet of flowers and, you know, her sympathies and stuff. Then President Donald Trump went to go talk to Scalise. And after that, you know, he went to go talk to Scalise's doctors just to make sure that everything is OK. If they needed anything that, you know, the president was at their disposal if they ever needed anything from him. And um, then after that, President Donald Trump was speaking to his own personal doctor, uh, to the doctor of the president. And, um, you know, they, he just wanted to make sure that that doctor went to back to the hospital ever so often to get any updates to send back to him. So that's basically what happened. All right. Jim Acosta took it upon himself to lie blatantly lie and then blame it on the pool saying that the pool was the one that made the mistake and he based his tweet his report on that pool on that pool email which he actually took that pool email out of context but instead of saying Oh, um, was uh, pool e pool email on hospital visit? President Donald Trump did not meet with Scalise. He didn't say that. He said White House officials. All right. So not only did he lie, he manufactured news, which CNN is notorious for doing. And then he went back and he didn't apologize. Instead. He went out and he put the blame on the White House pool reporters instead of owning up to his fake news, owning up to his blatant lies. He just blamed it on, on the poor guys that they, they don't even have an affiliation. All right. They're just there to report and give it to everybody else. So despicable person. And everybody started started going off on on Jim Acosta. Uh, there's a bunch of patriots and a bunch of just people that uh, started tweeting at him saying, quote, fake news as CNN reporter Acosta tweets a complete lie about POTUS and gets almost 1,200 more retweets than the correction regarding Scalise's shooting. OK, someone else said, quote, Jim Acosta, CNN, you people are truly fake news. First, you tweet President Trump did not go see Representative Scalise and then you're making a retweet okay 
So Acosta later on responded by saying, thanks, the info was from the previous pool report, which was later corrected. The pool report was never corrected. He blatantly took it out of context and he and he tweeted a fake news update. Okay. Someone by the name of Ross on Twitter said, quote, Acosta, CNN should fire you for uh, reporting fake news. A regular person gets fired if they mess up at the level that you did. But CNN is not going to fire him. CNN loves him. Why? Because he's able to make up fake news on the spot. And that's exactly what CNN wants. They, they just want to be known as a fake news source. <laughs> they don't really care. Honestly, they can care less. Right? There's a lot of um, people that have a stake in CNN, a pretty big one too. And they tell them, you know what? You're, you're starting to become a fake news source. And they're, they just shrug and be like, okay, fine. They don't care, folks. <laughs> they literally don't care. They can care less if they're fourth in the ratings. They can care less if they're losing subscribers on their website. They can care less if, you know, nobody's watching their, their shows. They can care less, literally. And um, someone by the name of Jack Posobiec, I don't know what who he is or what he does or whatever, but it says, you just made up a huge lie about President Donald Trump not visiting Scalise. Let's get nearly 2,000 retweets and then, oh, you nearly get 2,000 retweets and then delete it without apology. See, it's a, that's exactly what I was talking about. And uh, someone responded by saying CNN and Jim Acosta are just very fake news. All right. Some, um, another person, James Woods, said, quote, the never-ending joke known as CNN and fake news. All right. So people are just going off on it. And it just continues and continues. Um, the, Jim Acosta actually did a, another update that says, here's the screen grab of the TV pool report that incorrectly stated that POTUS did not see Scalise at the hospital. White House later said POTUS did. Okay. But again, social media users were again quick to point out that Acosta had originally based his report on word from the White House official and not from a TV pool report. Okay, so he he didn't he just didn't own up to to his mistake. All right, he just didn't own up to his mistake and that's why he was being called out by a lot of people on on Twitter. And again, folks, CNN can care less. Honestly, CNN can care less. They care. The only thing that they care about is pushing their own narrative. That's it. All right. A lot of people have been going on, uh, going against CNN. A lot, like I said, a lot of people that have a lot of money, a lot of stake in CNN has been calling them out recently and they can care less. So CNN is not going to stop pushing fake news. It's not going to stop manufacturing fake news. It's not going to be firing Jim Acosta or any of his other pushers uh, anytime soon. Instead, they're going to double down, maybe even uh, hire some more fake news pushers and go on from there. So let us know what you guys think about this. It's never ending. It's never, it's never going to stop. If CNN doesn't go under, which most likely it won't because they're getting money injected now from AT&T. AT&T barely bought or is in the process of buying Time Warner. And the AT&T CEO said a few months ago, actually, on Business Insider, that CNN is not going anywhere. So I'm pretty sure that CNN, I mean, uh, AT&T is going to funnel money back into CNN and uh, inject them with a cash flow. So CNN is not going anywhere. So expect more of this to be coming soon. Maybe even today. You never know. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, there is a CNN, I guess, uh, a protest at CNN headquarters in Atlanta. So um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Thank you very much for watching. Follow us on social media, Twitter. I'll be updating about the um, the protest and CNN headquarters in Atlanta on Twitter. So if 
you don't have Twitter, you can still watch the videos and still um, look at the report, but you can't, uh, you know, you can't reply or anything. So, but if you do have Twitter, the link for our Twitter is in the description below. Thank you very much, everyone, and I'll see you guys soon. Like I said, let us know what you guys think. If you think that CNN is very, very fake news, smack a like on this video and let them know. Tweet at them. Say, hey, you know what, CNN? You're very, very fake news. Thank you very much, everyone. Peace.